What's up, ladies and gents? It is I, Coloss, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. And as usual, I'm going to pause the game so I can give a recap of what just happened in the last episode. So, uh, last time we took control of Norman Jaden, and Jaden and Lieutenant Blake captured, well, I guess apprehended, a suspect of the origami killer, or a, yeah, an origami killer suspect. <laughs> I swear to God, I can never talk. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to get that straight. But anyway, so they apprehended a suspect, and so we're hopefully going to figure out who this person is and what exactly their motive is, or if they are, in fact, the origami killer. And then secondly, uh, Lauren Winter stopped by Scott Shelby's apartment, and the two of them discussed the case a little bit, and Lauren ultimately asked uh, Mr. Shelby if she could you know, potentially investigate the murder of her son with him. So they went to visit another suspect of the origami killer, or an origami killer suspect, uh, name of Gordy Kramer, and they went to his house, and there was this massive party going on, lots of drinking, lots of dancing, partying, drugging, whatever. And um, they questioned Gordy Kramer, and Gordy basically said, yeah, I'm the origami killer, but like, you know, in a sarcastic way so anyway that's where the story is so far so i th looks like we are picking up with ethan mars who is um heading to the location of another trial i believe that's what is going on right now so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right back on into heavy rain And I, you guys may or may not be able to hear it, but it's actually raining here right now, and it was thundering and a little bit earlier, so that's it's kind of kind of fitting to play Heavy Rain today, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's see what he's thinking about. Um, let's think about the trial. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. Okay, must not have to go through that way. <laughs> Oh, that's the, uh, there's a butterfly there. That's interesting. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Um, what about a clue? Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. Uh, I think I'm going the total wrong way. Um, the origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. I so, knew it. So, am I looking for a butterfly? There's a butterfly. Uh, this is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. Pico? Like that? Like F-Zero? Okay, whatever. Uh, it might trap. be a trap. I had better be careful. Yeah, this does not look uh, <laughs> very inviting. Okay. Yeah, that does not look very good. Okay, let's put that this. Okay, yeah, let's just cut through the barbed wire. Ugh. Ethan, watch it, man. Okay. Let's see. Um. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active. I think I have to go this way. Oh yeah, there's a butterfly right there. Okay. And like I mentioned before, I have played this game before, but it's been quite a while, and I don't exactly remember <laughs> what it all entails. Oh, there was a... Wait, can I go back? Oh, nope. Well, 
I'm stuck. That's great. Okay. Because there, there was a butterfly, like, um, something under the uh, under the sign of the door. Okay, the locked door in. Stuck. I'm locked in. Cool. Remember this. Oh, man. I remember this. This was nuts, dude. All right. Take the matches. <laughs> oh, boy. we go I would be terrified to go through this I don't think I could honestly I mean to save my son maybe but um, oh yeah this looks brighter because in the PS3 version this area is always really dark but this looks much brighter now. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it. Slowly, so Ugh. I don't tear up my arms. Jeez, man. Okay. So go very slow. Very slow. Slower than a turtle. How does that even get in here? <laughs> the match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Okay. And that always confused me before. I was like, okay, so do I go where it's coming from or where it's going? But I think I just realized it because it showed that the flame was going to the right and the camera panned to the right. So I'm assuming I have to go the direction the flame is pointing in. Pro tips. Pro tips here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's do this again. Okay, that's pointing to the left. So, turn this way and go very slow. Um, a draft. There's a slight draft. If I could figure out where it's coming from, it could lead me to the exit. I can't see a thing in here. Where are those matches? Okay, I got that. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on! I really hope I'm going the right way. Stupid fucking pipe! And Sean is gonna die because of me! Ethan, do not beat yourself up! Stop it! <laughs> okay. Let's try this one more time. So, it's going to the left. To the left, to the left. Okay, sorry. Turn around, Ethan. Okay. Yes, go this way. Okay, I think this is the right way. Um... Because I thought I remember seeing this light before. Gosh, I don't remember. Oh, man. 
Can you imagine being in this thing with all this glass around? Like, that's just ridiculous. Okay, to the right. Okay. I really hope I'm going the right way. No, why are you turning around? Oh, man. Why did he turn around? Okay, there we go. Sorry, I don't really know how I did that. I've never done that. <laughs> Out of all the times I've played this level, I don't think I've ever done that. Yes, there we go. Okay, awesome. Okay, we did it. You don't have to go through anymore, Ethan. You're fine. There we go. Oh, there's more there. Oh, okay, never mind. Ugh. Look at his knees. Ugh. Let's see. Um... I will not give up. I'm in this all the way to the bitter end if it saves my son. To jump or not to jump. Fuck that. <laughs> Whatever, I don't really have a choice. There's no other way out. Don't even know where it leads. Could lead to hell for all I know. I think you've already gone through that, Ethan. I guess I don't really have any choice. Ugh. Yeah, definitely go feet first. <laughs> Definitely go feet first. Alright. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ugh. Whoa. He's lucky he's thin. <laughs> Anyone else would probably not make through that. Make it through that. I remember always failing at this when I tried before. Um, coward? No way. Um, oh yeah. Um, okay, so there's... I remember this. There's one of these doesn't have any electricity going through it. I think it's this one right here. Oh, you really gotta test your fingers on this one. Okay, did that. That was good. I should have did my hand exercises. <laughs> um, okay, so we have to go... Yeah, this way. Just follow the path with no electricity. That's all you have to do. And just make sure your fingers are <laughs> stretched out. Okay, we did that. This one again. Okay, now I gotta tap X. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. 
I think we go straight. Uh, yeah, there's no electricity over this way. Okay. I mean, there is, but, like, not insane. Like, this one doesn't look like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Oh, well, my face is just... Okay, come on, Ethan. Okay. There we go. That feels better. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, so, we have to go... Uh, this way. Okay. Yeah, just army crawl. That's all you gotta do. Well, you just did that, like, a little bit ago. But... <laughs> Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. Probably only got like a couple... Um, let's see. Um, oh man, I don't remember. These all look dangerous, like... Okay, I think we go this way. Okay. There we go. Cool. Whew. Okay, one more. I think it's the one in front of us. And I think that's all we have to do. Yeah, this one. This one's so... This is much better. Yes! Good job, Ethan. You did it. You probably get more letters for uh, that hangman. You couldn't give me any more? <laughs> Jeez. Whew. Well, we still did it. Can you imagine that? You go through all of that just to get, like, what, four letters? That's lame. Ah, oh, okay, Madison Page. Is she gonna take care of Ethan again? Hey, electrified! Cool. Yeah, she's probably gonna spot Ethan coming home again. Oh my god. Oh boy. I gotta call a doctor. I can't just leave him like this. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. I'll get him to bed. Okay. Um, yeah. I was going to say, that's not on the bed. <laughs> that's next to the bed. Yeah. 
Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Okay. Um. Oh my God. What happened to him? Let's see, do I have to go back over here? Um. Ooh, should we snoop? Should we snoop? Mm, I don't know. I don't Where think I've ever done this part. What is he doing with you? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Put him back. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, go take care of him. <laughs> First. You've got a hell of a fever. Okay, um, let's do that. You're gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Look really bad. Mm. Jeez. I need to disinfect your wounds. Okay, let's go. To the medicine cabinet we go. Once again. <laughs> oh, good. I don't have to figure out what I need to bring this time. <laughs> Doctor, but I'll do what I can. Okay, so we need uh, medicine for the fever. Uh, anti fever. I still have to sort of decide what I need to give him. <laughs> Man, I wish I could take pills without water. It'd be kind of nice. Um, probably need to give him a painkiller. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think that's all the medicine I have to give him. So, disinfectant. bad. Okay. Careful, careful. Careful. There we go. Good. Your wounds are disinfected. Uh, do I need an ointment? I don't, I don't know. Why would I need ointment? God. Sorry, I'm <laughs> stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, okay, bandages. I think we're done. <laughs> I'm no doctor either. Okay, we're done. He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. If 
he's unconscious, unconscious, shouldn't he not be moving? I don't know. But that's just me. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna say no choice, because we gotta help him. You didn't really leave me any choice. I couldn't just leave you like that. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Uh, I might as well be truthful. I, um... I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. Hmm. Danger. You seem to lead a dangerous life. It's not the one I chose. Mm, just be sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Oh, come on. Maybe I could help you. No I... one can help me. You've already done a lot, Mattis. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. Way to go, Ethan! No, that's okay. I I don't know what I would have done. I can't say oh, I would have done the same thing. I I don't know. Sorry, right. there was no point in doing that, but <laughs> Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son, 9711 Marvel Street? Oh, man. Alright, we get to control Madison now. Okay, actually, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> um, again, I like to leave these about a half hour long, and it seems like uh, two segments of, you know between loading screens uh, seems to be the perfect amount of time for that so I'm gonna end it here today guys um, but thank you so much for watching um, yeah we got a few more letters for the uh, hangman so that's really good and hopefully the next time we can uh, complete the other trial and yeah we're gonna see what happens uh, looks like we're gonna be controlling Madison next so it looks like it's gonna take place in the police station so we're going to see what that's all about. We still have to figure out um, more about Scott Shelby and Lauren Winter and uh, Gordy Kramer. We still don't really know much about that. Maybe that's a dead end or not. I don't entirely know. And we still have to figure out um, Jaden's suspect as well. So a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of stuff that we still need to figure out. Um, 
So the story is... We're definitely in the in the thick of the story, which is awesome. So, uh, anyway, again, that's going to do today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited to see the continuation of Heavy Rain. Uh, again, I'm going to play this all the way through, uh, just because it's an awesome game. I love it. It's fantastic. And, yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care.